effects of the anti-cancer preparation Ukraine, NSC 631570. Ukraine is an anti-cancer medicament consisting of alkaloid derivatives from greater celandine, Chelidonium myosel. Celandine sap has been successfully used in the treatment of skin diseases since ancient times. For example, in Slavic languages and in German, the plant is known as wart herb. It was observed that when celandine sap is applied to a wart, it generally disappears within a week. Warts are like tumours, but of benign origin. And skin cancer can also be treated with celandine sap. Celandine sap consists of 98% alkaloids, and more than 45 alkaloids have so far been found. Their composition depends on the time of year the plant is harvested. The celandine alkaloids are positively ionized to create the anti-cancer effect. Cancer is the second leading cause of death worldwide and in all regions of the world. Cancer is dangerous owing to its ability to spread around the body. The cancer problem is so difficult to solve because no conventional treatment methods cure patients completely, and none of them have a selective effect, which means that not only cancer cells are killed, but also healthy cells. Ukraine is named after the country of origin of its inventor and where the first steps in its development were made, but it has the German spelling without the final E as in English. Ukraine is a preparation with a selective effect. At therapeutic dose, it leads to the death of cancer cells, but not healthy cells. It is known that all cells have predominantly negative charges, but these have been proved to be more pronounced in cancer cells. This finding was the basis for the development of Ukraine. It consists of greater chelandine alkaloid derivatives that are positively ionized. As a result, the substance accumulates very rapidly in tumor tissue, which can also be seen through its fluorescence under UV light. The medicament was developed by an Austrian scientist of Ukrainian origin, Dr. Novitsky. He is the founder of a new mode of therapy called proton therapy. Many scientists all over the world are now devoting themselves to this promising approach. As a result, Dr. Novitsky has been invited to speak at many international specialist congresses as honorary speaker. The medical anti-cancer preparation Ukraine has the following unique properties. A selective effect. A therapeutic dose, it leads to the death of cancer cells, but not healthy cells. It accumulates in tumours and metastases, as can be seen under UV light thanks to its autofluorescence. It has angiogenic properties. It can encapsulate tumours and thus inhibits the formation of new metastases. It facilitates the surgical removal of tumours and metastases and it has immunomodulating properties. It regenerates the immune system and cures viral infections. Greater Chelandine, Chelidonium myosel, was first mentioned as a medicinal herb in the Ebers papyrus 3,500 years ago. The anti-tumor properties of the plant extract were described in a medicinal herb book published in 1536. Chelidonine is the most important alkaloid of greater chelandine and constitutes up to 80% of the total alkaloid content. Ukraine autofluorescence in UV light. On the left we see crystallized Ukraine. In ultraviolet light, Ukraine fluoresces in the yellowish-green range of the spectrum. Excitation frequencies are within a range of 220 to 490 nanometers. The spectral width of the fluorescence extends from 410 to 665 nanometers. 
Below we see the thin layer chromatography plate with drops of Ukraine under ultraviolet light. On the left, Ukraine in a concentration of 10 mg per milliliter in distilled water. Then, serial dilutions by a factor of 10 each time. Here again we see the autofluorescence of Ukraine in ultraviolet light. On the left, a patient in normal light. And on the right, the same patient under ultraviolet light. A female patient aged 82 with a one and a half year history of multiple and exulcerating basiliomas in the temporobucco-nasal region. On the right, three minutes after the first intramuscular injection of five milliliters Ukraine in the gluteal region. We see strong fluorescence of the tumors and surrounding tissue. Ukraine administered after one week produced only slight fluorescence. Considerable regression of the tumours was also observed. On the left, a female patient aged 75 in normal light, and on the right, the same patient under ultraviolet light. The patient had a tonsillar carcinoma already grown into the carotis externa, exulceration under treatment with Ukraine, in the right photo, we see fluorescence of the tumour. At the top left, yellow fluorescence of Ukraine in tumour tissue. A pathological sample, a gastric adenocarcinoma, under ultraviolet light, 12 hours after 20 mg Ukraine, intravenous injection. In the middle, lymphatic nodes of the same patient show fluorescent points. Examination revealed malignant tissue at those locations next to unaffected tissue. On the right, an exulcerated mama carcinoma in a 58-year-old patient. There's visible fluorescence in the tumor area after the first injection of Ukraine. And below, straight to the heart, Ukraine targets malignant tumor cell nuclei. Here we see the uptake of Ukraine in melanoma cells compared to normal cells, in vitro. At the top, the melanoma cells showing a high uptake, and below, the endothelial cells with a low uptake. A 68-year-old female patient was diagnosed as having inoperable pancreatic head carcinoma, complicated with jaundice. Ukraine was administered intravenously at a single dose of 20 mg four hours before palliative surgery. During surgery, fine needle biopsy of the pancreas was performed. On the left, we see the autofluorescence of Ukraine under ultraviolet light, which is seen only in cancer cells. Ukraine in xeroderma pigmentosum. Patient SS an eight-year-old boy presented with an ulcerating lesion of the nose. At the age of 10 months, xeroderma pigmentosum was diagnosed. Patients with this disease have a severe sensitivity to all sorts of ultraviolet radiation, especially sunlight, and they develop serious sunburns with the onset of poikiloderma in the light-exposed skin. There is a wide range of symptoms blindness and deafness, blistering or freckling on minimal sun exposure, developmental disabilities, dwarfism and hypergonadism, increased skin and eye cancers, and mental retardation. Squamous cell carcinomas, basal cell carcinomas, and malignant melanomas already appear in childhood. The majority of patients die before reaching adulthood because of metastases of malignant melanomas. Until the age of three, the number of skin lesions increased considerably. In May 2002, skin cancer, squamous cell carcinoma, at the nose was diagnosed, histologically verified. From May till June 2002, three cycles of chemotherapy were administered. 
The therapy failed and the tumours grew. Clinical investigation in April 2004 revealed deforming malignant melanoma of the nose with invasion into the cartilage of the nasal septum, measuring 3 by 3 centimetres. On the 20th of May 2004, therapy with Ukraine was started, 5 milligrams intravenously twice a week, up to a total dose of 85 milligrams. One month after the last administration of Ukraine, a complete regression of the tumour was revealed. The skin defect was partially replaced with connective tissue. Xeroderma skin lesions improved throughout the body. On the left we see the patient before therapy with Ukraine. In the middle, the autofluorescence of Ukraine of the melanoma area under ultraviolet light during the first intravenous injection. And then on the right in December 2004 a complete regression of the tumour with connective tissue substitution. The second patient with the same diagnosis xeroderma pigmentosum is Daniel Broschart from Germany. Before his 16th birthday he had to undergo 54 surgical operations. He is now 32 years old. After treatment with Ukraine, he now works and drives a car. On the left, we see Daniel, age 6, with multiple skin tumours. And on the right, in January 2012. Ukraine in generalised lymphangiomatosis. In 1995, the three-year-old Stefan Dan from Austria, with the diagnosis generalized lymphangiomatosis, was sent home to die by his doctors after all conventional treatment methods had been exhausted. Stefan is now 25 years old. He's clever, intelligent, can read, write, paint, and even play the piano. Here we see the results of clinical treatment with Ukraine on various kinds of cancer. Especially high total remissions were achieved with prostate cancer at 70%, Ewing sarcoma at 57.1%, neuroblastoma at 60%, and seminoma at 75%. Here we see the results from a prostate cancer study in Germany. All of the patients were treated with Ukraine and local hypothermia after all standard treatment modalities such as surgery and androgen ablative therapy or radiation therapy had failed, a relapse or progression of the disease had occurred and no further therapy modality was available. From a total of 74 patients, complete remissions were achieved in 54 cases, 73%. Partial remissions in 16 cases, 22%, and disease progression in 4 cases, 5%. Results of clinical treatment with Ukraine. In colorectal cancer, clinical studies found that the 2-year survival of patients after Ukraine therapy is 78.6%, compared with 33.3% after conventional chemotherapy. In a recent clinical study of gemcitabine in advanced pancreas cancer, no patient survived beyond 19 months, whereas the 19-month survival of Ukraine-treated patients in another study was 48%. Palliative Ukraine therapy studies. Here we see survival rates in pancreatic cancer patients according to Kaplan-Meier survival curves. On the left, a study by Zemskov et al. from 2002, and on the right, Gantzauger et al., also from 2002. And here are the results of adjuvant Ukraine therapy studies. Objectifying by measuring the subjective feeling of warmth in the tumour area after Ukraine injection. A male patient, 64 years old, with adenocarcinoma of the rectum, 
with metastases in the left femur and os ilium. During treatment with Ukraine, he had a feeling of warmth in the metastasis area, and the warmth was also measured objectively. On the left, F. In the area on the right, unaffected by metastases, we see normal temperature, N, at the same time. The different influences of Ukraine on oxygen consumption in healthy cells and cancer cells. On the left, the Ukraine influence on oxygen consumption in malignant cells, and on the right, its influence on the oxygen consumption of normal cells. Immunological properties of Ukraine. Ukraine modulates the natural defense system against developing cancer. Under attack, Ukraine activated lymphocytes start to recognize the tumor cells. Victory. Ukraine activated lymphocytes begin to destroy a tumor cell. And the kiss of death, Ukraine activates lymphocytes to kill a cancer cell. Ukraine's deadly action against cancer cells, the induction of apoptosis. Apoptosis, programmed cell death, occurs in an aged cell population. Without it, cells never die. But apoptosis does not occur in tumor cells. Each cell division of a tumor cell has the potential to cause alterations leading to malignancy and to the loss of apoptosis. Ukraine induces apoptosis in cancer cells. Direct attack. At higher concentrations, Ukraine directly induces apoptosis in the tumor cell. Disintegration. Ukraine activated lymphocyte has triggered apoptosis of the tumor cell. Results of the Ukraine investigation at the National Cancer Institute, Bethesda, Maryland, USA. Almost all cancer cell lines demonstrated growth inhibition, between 50% of 100%, which, at higher concentrations, 50 micrograms per milliliter, turned into a cytolytic effect with a reduction of total cell mass. The highest concentration of Ukraine slightly inhibited the proliferation of normal cells, endothelial cells, fibroblasts, keratinocytes, prostate epithelial cells, without any cytotoxic effect. The chemotherapeutic compound 5-fluoracil, which was investigated under identical conditions, completely inhibited growth only in a few cell lines under extremely high concentrations, while a reduction in cell mass was never observed. Here we see a graph of the results of the Ukraine study at the National Cancer Institute. The comparison of Ukraine and 5-fluoracil cytotoxicity against different cancer cell lines. Here the effects of Ukraine treatment on different human cancer cell lines solid tumors. And here we see the inhibition of capillary sprouting by Ukraine in the endothelial spheroids model. Pancreatic adenocarcinoma. Preoperative treatment with Ukraine, total 100 milligrams, 10 days prior to surgery, pancreatico duodenectomy. Formation of a capsule a around the tumor. Tumor cells do not infiltrate the capsule. Massive round cell infiltration B of the tumor capsule border area. In this picture we see necrosis of tumor tissue at A and inhibition of new vessels formation, defect in capillary wall, defect in endothelial covering in B. Here we see nuclear changes chromatin dispersion at A and fragmentation at B, hydropic cytoplasm degeneration at C. Ewing sarcoma, first diagnosed in 1996, histologically verified, tumor resistant to both chemotherapy and radiotherapy. 
The patient, a 10-year-old girl, was treated in the high-risk arm of the ISIS-92 study. MRI examination of the pelvic region on the 1st of September 1997 showed progression in the cystic edematous process. She was then treated with combined Ukraine and local hypothermia therapy. The therapy series consisted of 15 mg Ukraine in an infusion with 250 milliliters glucose and 5 grams of vitamin C, followed by local hypothermia treatment. Treatment was administered every second day, up to a total of 10 therapy sessions. MRI examination on the 8th of January 1998 showed no progression of the tumour. Subsequent therapy cycles caused regression of the tumour. See MRI on the 15th of June 1999 and the 1st of February 2000. The MRI on the 1st of February 2001 shows a cystic residual defect in right femur as observed in previous examinations, but no sign of a relapse or of metastasis. Ewing sarcoma, first diagnosed 22nd of November 1983, histologically verified, tumour resistant to both chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Ukraine therapy started on 21st of January 1984. A nine-year-old girl had felt marked pain below the right knee joint in November 1983, following a slight injury. X-ray revealed Ewing sarcoma in the proximal portion of the right fibula. Hospital treatment included chemotherapy and cobalt therapy. X-rays confirmed that the patient's tumour had not responded to radiation or chemotherapy, and the tumour mass increased rapidly. One month after the end of chemotherapy, Ukraine treatment was started at a dose of 5 mg intramuscular for a total of 10 injections, combined with regional deep hypothermia. The first series of Ukraine therapy included three identical courses with a two-week pause between them. Six series of Ukraine treatment were administered over the course of one year. Repeated x-rays showed reduction of the tumour mass. Small cell lung cancer histologically verified. Ukraine therapy started on 12th of May 1983. In May 1983, a central small cell lung cancer with mediastinal lymph nodes involvement was diagnosed in a 73-year-old man. Six chemotherapy cycles were administered and the patient was treated with Ukraine during the breaks. He received six cycles, each one consisting of 10 intravenous injections of 20 mg twice a week. Complete tumour remission was achieved. Breast cancer, adenocarcinoma, 45-year-old female. Ukraine therapy started on 24th of February 1983. The patient felt pain in the left breast. Examination revealed two tumours, one of 6 by 4 centimetres in the lower outer quadrant of the left breast and one of 1.5 by 1 centimetre in the upper outer quadrant of the right breast with bilateral involvement of auxiliary lymph nodes. The patient refused any chemotherapy, radiation therapy or surgical intervention and began Ukraine monotherapy. Ukraine was administered in doses of 2.5 to 10 mg every second day during the first course. Repeated courses were undertaken with 20 mg per injection every second day. Follow-up examination on the 18th of May 1984 showed a complete remission. Examinations carried out between 1984 and 2001 showed no signs of relapse. Here are some details about studies of the selective effect of Ukraine against cancer cells. The first was carried out in 1983 in Vienna, Austria, by the Federal Institute for Pharmacological Research. It measured oxygen consumption in normal cells and oxygen consumption in cancer cells. The cancer cells used were Ehrlich mouse ascites tumor cells and the non-cancer cells guinea pig liver homogenate. 
1992, the Institute for Applied Microbiology in Vienna, Austria, studied uptake. It compared human osteosarcoma and melanoma cell lines with normal endothelial cells, measuring cell growth inhibition and using fluorescence microscopy. In 1998, the University of Pretoria, South Africa, studied the metaphase block, anomal chromosome distribution, and apoptosis. It used spectrophotometrical analysis of DNA content, flow cytometry, cell morphology, and cell cycle phases. In the year 2000, the University of Ulm in Germany studied apoptosis and cell cycle phases, using cell cycle analysis, proliferation assay, western blotting, fluorescence immunostaining, and in vitro polymerization of monomeric tubulin. It compared pancreas cancinoma cell lines with white blood cells. In the same year, the University of Rochester in the USA studied cyclin A, B1, CDK1, and CDK2 using flow cytometry, cell cycle analysis, gel electrophoresis, and western blotting. In the year 2000, the University of Pretoria, South Africa, studied the inhibition of tubulin polymerization using cell growth studies, indirect immune fluorescence, flow cytometric cell cycle analysis, and tubulin polymerization assay. In 2002, Eberhard Karls University of Tübingen, Germany, studied cell cycle phases TP53 and P21. Combined with irradiation, cell growth, flow cytometry, protein extraction with spectral photometry, TP53, and western blotting. On the right, you see the human cancer cell lines used and the non-cancer human fibroblasts. In 2006, the Instituto Nacional de Cancerología, Mexico City, studied apoptosis, intrinsic pathway, mitochondria, and caspases, using cellular viability, nuclear staining, western blotting, and gene reporter analysis. Again on the right, you see the cancer cells and the non-cancer cells used. In 2010, the University of Pisa, Italy, studied uptake using cytotoxicity detection and uptake by fluorescence. It used primary human pancreatic cancer cell lines and fibroblasts derived from PDAC epithelial ductal cell line. Here we see a selection of articles on the mechanism of action of Ukraine. The mechanism of action of Ukraine has been tested on more than 100 cancer cell lines so far, including cisplatin resistant lines, but also on normal cell lines. Ukraine has proved to be effective against all cancer cell lines, whereas normal lines were unaffected. In contrast to conventional cytostatics, which are toxic both against cancer and normal cells, Ukraine is toxic only against cancer cells and has been described as a malignotoxic agent. Ukraine, NSC 631570, Biological Mechanisms of Anti-Cancer Action 188 scientists from 24 countries at 60 universities and research institutes have confirmed the properties of Ukraine. The effects of Ukraine have been described in over 300 scientific publications more than 180 of which can be accessed at PubMed. Presentations of Ukraine at International Scientific Congresses and Symposia number over 300. Here we see the countries in which Ukraine has been registered. And below, Ukraine has orphan drug status in the United States and Australia for the treatment of pancreatic cancer. Summary One of the most important properties of Ukraine is that preoperative administration greatly increases operability by causing tumour encapsulation 
and greatly reduces the formation of metastases, both before and after surgery. This means that the success rate of cancer surgery is increased when Ukraine is administered. Doctors who have years of experience with Ukraine are of the opinion that Ukraine is a must before and after every cancer operation due to its immunological and anti-angiogenic properties. Ukraine kills only cancer cells and leaves normal cells undamaged. Ukraine does not only regenerate the immune system, but gives lymphocytes the ability to kill cancer cells. And here's some quotes about Ukraine. NSC 631570 could replace chemotherapy in treating almost all cancers. Robert C. Atkins, MD. Understanding, as well as possible modulation of this mechanism involved in selective cancer cell death, could be used as a model for providing safe and efficacious new therapies for cancers. University of Rochester Cancer Center. NSC 631570 is a unique product that acts in at least two ways on cancer, by killing cells and by increasing the immune response. Ralph W. Moss, PhD. NSC 631570 is capable of improving the general conditions and prolonging the lives of terminal cancer patients by boosting their immune systems and inhibiting tumor growth. Douglas Brody, MD. Our results suggest NSC 631570 as a potent drug for the treatment of unresectable pancreatic cancer. Professor H. G. Baker et al., University of Ulm. Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, thank you very much for your attention.